Sitting next to me today is a 2022 Ford Transit Connect. And today I'm going to be going over things that you should consider before buying one of these. So let's hop right into the video. All right, so starting on the inside of the Transit Connect, I wanna go over the passenger and the cargo volume of this vehicle. So you can get the Transit Connect in either a six or a seven seater configuration. Of course, this one is in its six seat configuration. The maximum amount of passenger volume you can have in the Ford Transit Connect is gonna be about 167 cubic feet of passenger space. So if you are wanting to store things while your vehicle is fully loaded, the max amount of cargo you can hold behind that third row is going to be about 25 cubic feet feet. Now, if you have the third row down, which you can do, you can also have 60 cubic feet of cargo behind the second row right here. Something else to consider is the fact that I can't get this backrest to go down or forward and you can't move the seat forward and backwards. So if you have older passengers, they might be a bit uncomfortable in these back seats. So the next thing I think is important to consider, even on something like a Ford Transit Connect, is going to be the type of powertrains you can get on these vehicles. Starting with the one this one is equipped with, and the base option for this vehicle is going to be the two liter naturally aspirated in line four. It makes 160 horsepower and 144 pound feet of torque. It's not necessarily powerful, but it does get the job done. It's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. As for gas mileage for this engine, it's going to get 24 miles per gallon in the city, 28 on the highway and a combined of 26. Now there is a second engine option. It's not that much different. It makes a little more power. It's going to be a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated in line four. Now this 2.5 liter naturally aspirated in line four is going to make 169 horsepower and 171 pound feet of torque. It gets 20 miles per gallon in the city, 26 on the highway, so a combined of around 22 miles per gallon. Far less uh, fuel efficient than the two liter gas engine, but the 2.5 liter does make that extra power. Now, the unfortunate thing is no matter what engine option you get, you're going to be towing the same amount of cargo if you decide to tow with this. It's around 2,000 pounds and the max payload capacity for these is around 1420 pounds as well so something to keep in mind uh, i'm still surprised for the two liter gas to get that high of gas mileage for something that carries six people if you look at something like ford's bigger suvs they get way worse than that so kudos to the transit connect for being able to do that and carry all that it does. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually the tech and the comfort features on the inside of the Transit Connect. Starting with the tech, this does have a good amount of safety features, has blind spot monitoring, and it has lane keep assist. Now for comfort features, you do have dual zone climate control in this one up front, along with heated seats and then you have a climate zone in the back that your passengers can use for other little things you do have sync 3 right here it's a very small screen compared to the other cars that have sync 3 in them but it does work and it does its job pretty well now as for some other funny things storage in here is pretty good you can even put uh, lighter objects above right here that you can store now something i find really funny is going to be things like the sun visors which are these just massive dinner plate sized like <laughs> just, oh it's so crazy and then you have this small little vanity mirror right here and you can also hold things in the van the um, sun visors right there if you care to do that it's just funny to see how big these are just regardless it's cool <laughs> And the last thing I think you should consider when going to buy a Ford Transit Connect is going to be the price. Because granted, if you go and spec one on Ford's website, they're not very expensive. In fact, this one is just a hair over $30,000. Um, it's going to be the markups you will incur from dealers when you go to buy one. No matter what dealer you go to, you are going to incur a markup on this car. This one, for instance, has an addendum of $15,000 on it, making the price of this one around forty. dollars eight grand because this one's around 33,000 from the factory. $48,000. Now, there's a lot of use for these vehicles, but $48,000 is a lot. So make sure you consider all of your buying options before going and buying one of these. So the mic is about to die. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more from us, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.